Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Banjo Tooie in the Grunty Zone. Yeah, last time we played around, and then we ended up back here at the bottom, which I'm not complaining about. I'm gonna be real. Even though I have zero jiggies here, I think that if I find a move, I open this. This is what's left, like the elevator, and then there's this, right? And this I opened up. The elevator is gonna be like a whole thing. So let's see where this leads. If I find a third move, I think I will leave early. Cause I mean, I think by now everyone gets it. This is a pretty labored, pretty large area. Oh, and there's the third move immediately. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, and it's for... Forget it, punk! Alright, so it's bear only. Why, you cheeky? Cause, so, like, being real here, I feel like... If I'm going to be playing Grunty's Industry, I think I should play all of Grunty Industry because... It's a large space, and separating me playing this level in two sessions that might be far apart from one another might be a bad idea, because I think it's probably a good idea to have a pretty coherent mental map of the entire area at all time, right? Like, I don't think that's a completely ridiculous notion. And this is why I'm starting to think that, yeah, like, I should just get out of there. You know what? What I could do that could be fun? Uh, going up this ladder while avoiding this, yeah, this splatter of majestic color. Because I still cannot be this. There is one move you need at some point that I do not have right now. So, uh, if not two, I guess it depends what this will give me. Move me up! That's right! When you're feeling rather low, I know a place that you can go. Zed followed by Arrow removes your pack. Have a nap to get energy back. This man just taught this... <laughs> I'm so sorry. This man just ta taught this bear how to sleep. I don't know if a bear realistically needs to learn how to sleep. But this is the world we live in right now. And, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a puzzle solution to something. What's going on down here? Yeah, okay, well, I think I'm gonna get those notes, though. But, like, this, I believe, is a thing that requires... Uh, tools, abilities from somewhere else still, I think. I think? Yeah, you're not gonna be where- I'm just gonna take a look here, cause like, I could come back with Kazooie. Yeah, see like, the whole thing is you need to get across there, how do you get across there, you know? Well, you can't. You need something from another land. There's a Jinjo there, in the water. In the oil and the water, together at last. Uh, so, yeah, I have. oh, I could've split here. Here's the- here's that good old Jolly Roger pipeline we've heard a lot about, maybe. Well, we've seen that writing somewhere, at the very least. And we've seen this. No, yeah, that's the Minjo, right? When you go in the faucet? Alright, I've made up my mind. I'm not even going to open up... Where? How do you get back up as Banjo? Like, where is my way up? Is it here? And I just didn't see it right? We haven't gone there, though. Yeah, there's ladders. Ha! Half... What? Half fire? Hail fire peaks. Half a fire, hail a fire. It's all good. I think I have the means to completely complete. Oh, and here's a. Oh, I thought it was a switch. It is a switch. You can press it. Oh boy, the place is more toxic now. Wow. I don't know why. Oh, the spring is if you get there with Kazooie only. And there's a banjo switch on his own. So yeah, you gotta get banjo there on his own. Like I said, I can't sleep my way across toxic porridge, buddy. I want to check something in Jolly Roger Bay, and after that, I think I'm going to turbo complete a certain place called Banana Zone. Honestly, we might also be able to do the fairground. Like, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to, like, do a partial loop, too. 
It's like I'm just I'm racking my brain and I think I have every move that I need to complete worlds two and three Both in terms of like um, moves you need and also just uh, Variables that are activated in completely different worlds Yeah, no the more I think about it the more that's what I think I want to do and that's why we're gonna take a step into Jolly Roger Lagoon that makes sense to me, don't worry about it. I think, because I think there's a place I didn't check enough thoroughly in uh, Jolly Roger. It's kind of important. And uh, we're gonna do that. Two Yilagu- Oh, I need like all the eggs. Honestly, I use a lot of grenade eggs. I should probably, yeah, uh, live on that. Like, look at that, look at those numbers. So we've been here before. And there's like, like, it leads to like exactly where we were right now in, um, Gloomy Galleon. But someone pointed out, and I think I remember this now, there is a ladder somewhere that you can climb and it's somewhere I want to go. I pressed this button. That was done. Yeah, ladder here. So that's, no, that is not the little guy we saw in the window. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, anyway, there's a ladder here I completely missed the first time I came here. Good eyes. It leads to... Not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping this would lead a bit more than that. Because, like, remember how in Glitter Gulch, there's uh, this place that, like, there's a water tank being filled from um, Jolly Roger's Lagoon. I think we are expected to go there. Oh, that's on the other side. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, there's the banjo switch. That's the toxic porridge we just filled up. That is fun. So that means there's another pipe. Maybe that actually does have a... Jinjo. Help to you too, buddy. Huh, I... I must be misremembering, unless I can blow that up. Like, it's not impossible. Well, okay, well... One day I'm gonna press the right buttons. Alright, that doesn't blow up. Okay, well, we saw on top of the thing. There's nothing. Cool. Well, we can do everything else in Glitter Gold Mount. So we should probably do that. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. There's something else we can do here. And I don't know if it leads there. I should check. Uh, we need to go to Smuggler's Cove. So, from inside... Johnny's... It's, uh... Is there not a great with a Kazooie sponsor on it there? Yes, there is. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember. Because I remember making a, mental, a silent m mental note, so I wouldn't s mention it to people who haven't uh, played this game yet. Yeah, that thing's over there. That's still a grand old time. Ghost fish is empty. I remember around here... There is... There! Right there. Wrong, okay, I need to be doing this then? There you go. You cannot start it and... Okay, got it. Kazooie sponsored grading! Yeah, you saw that, ghost fish? That's right, I just did that. Well, Kazooie did that. Puffer fish is big. Unbelievable. And I mean, it leads into another kind of pipeline kind of thing, right? Yeah, so I kind of remember this. Uh, so there's a puzzle here. The puzzle is use ice. <laughs> Otherwise, good luck. Okay, so we're just gonna take our time here. Da, 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 da. Just gonna do this one at a time. There is literally no hurry because I have unlimited oxygen in this water. Because all of the sunlight that was blasted into it, that's called science. I mean, this is clearly leading somewhere. That somewhere is here. 
the place that is blue. Like water. Yeah, so, by the way, we are actually in Grunty's industry right now. Ugh. There's- oh, there's that Jinjo we saw. Okay. So, that's a here Jinjo then. Which is- I think it's a Grunty Jinjo, is it? It's very rude. Yeah, three out of five, I think. Is there not anything else here? It's really just this, this, like this big involved thing to a Jinjo? I mean, sure looks like it. Wow. Okay then. But I think these are permanently in ice so that you have a way back. We've been there. <sighs> We've been there. Oh yeah, there my air meter was going down, but if as soon as I go here, my air meter is going back up. This is science. All right, well, uh, I'll quickly head back. So I guess we can complete world two, other than a Jinjo. That's fine, I guess. Let's still do that. Because everything we got to do there isn't that all that involved. What? I got hurt. Shouldn't I, since I'm here, shouldn't I just go, like, just, just go and hatch the egg? You know Tip Top has an egg waiting. Like, you know it's there, just do it. It's right here. It's fine. Beep bomp, beep bomp, beep bomp, beep bomp. Whoa, check me spin. Hey, egg guy, I'm gonna sit on your egg. You can sit on your egg. Just sit on it. You just go on it somehow. Alright, that looks stable. And then you sit down, squoosh your butt a little bit, and there you go! Here's a tiny little baby turtle! Finally, Kazooie is a mother. No, this is the second time, actually, something living pops out. What? Oh, yeah. That's right! Uh, well, how am I supposed to do that? Blow him up? Because I'm gonna do that. I'll do it. Oh, okay. I didn't blow him up, but a little bit of ice made him found better, I guess. I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. Here's a jiggy for me. Uh, look at that, look at that little baby guy, though. Whoa. That's an official tip-top move. Abandoning his child. That child is just... He, he is just not waiting for him at all. Your child, your childhood will be full of hardships, little guy. I think it's 40-something, and then I can open up both worlds we've seen. The temple world, and uh, the cloud world. So... Would clearing everything I know from world 2 and world 3 be enough to get me there? Maybe with the Jinjos? This stair door thing is massive. Then you end up here and it's tiny. Yeah, that can happen. Things can, like, funnel out as it progresses. It's not that weird. Damn, that music change. Well, instrumentation change, rather. Alright, so, what do we got to get? As soon as I press start, I'll be able to find out. Oh yeah, so there's only two Jiggies to get. And uh, the one Jinjo we're not gonna be able to get, so okay. This shouldn't be in too bad. One no, those things is near the crush or shed. The other thing is in the power shack or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot where that is. I just need to find it though, and it is fine. Whoa, check it out. Oh, around here there should be a thing in these box. Our springy shoes. Check it out. They're shoes for springing. Unbelievable. Oh, uh, uh, oh, really? Oh, but there's like a tiny little ledge there. 
Uh, okay, so I think what you probably want me to do is you go here, you go around, that man goes, yeehaw! And then we hear the clock, you know, clocking, but it's fine. Uh -uh. Do, 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 do. So where's the power shed? Also, there's another thing I need to check on that's not documented here. Oh, isn't this? This? Where is this? Oh, it's a water storage. Oh, that's good. But yeah, uh, oh. Could I get a Clockwork Kazooie up there? See, Jaragu Lagoon Water. We saw a pipeline. I could totally cheese you with uh, Clockwork. But I feel like I'm gonna stumble on the real solution eventually, and we'll just leave it there, I think. Yeah, the watery place, that's where there's a Kazooie branded boulder. And I wanna bust it open right there. Here we go! Sponsorship! Welcome to Kazooie Ware! I don't know what that means. Here's a sweet cave that opened up. Alright, so what's that gonna be about? It does not matter. Well, it does matter a lot, actually. Alright, so what is over here? I do not know. I forget. I think I know. Where are we? Hey, remember when we saw a Hellfire Peak? Uh... Whoa, in here, I don't know, man. It's like struggling to lead. To load. So here's another place we're going. Some sweet little, like, uh... Fiery spot. And check it out! It's a big ol' ice vault! Uh, totally always planned to be there. So strictly speaking, yeah, like, you could be visiting the ice world uh, and see this in that window and wonder what to do. But, uh, we're getting it. Wow! You caught the legendary Mega Globo! Yeah, and, uh, Wumba wanted it. The Wumba that's on the hub. So, look forward to that, I guess. That's probably gonna do that tomorrow, because it is on the way to Witchy World. Look at that. Preview. Look at that. This place. Yeah. Oh, but we still get the... That is funny when they do that. Okay. Because, like, the, the title of the place when we got here betrayed true nature of where we are at. It's kind of funny. Wow, yeah. Uh, game struggled to load there, so I hope... Fire P goes okay. Oh, I need to find a power shed somewhere. There's another door nearby here. It is around here, probably. I mean, more than probably, it is just factually here. Oh, yeah, there was like a shed there with keep out, and we blew the whole building up. Is that where we want to be? That's a water maze. Gross. Okay, there was- so the drill move I got very late, and there was a drill spot next to Mumbo, so I'm wondering if that's where it is then. Like, just kinda... sussing out, because it's one of the last places I saw while I was exploring. Yeah, 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 it's on the other side of this prison. Right. Right, 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 right. Right here. And there is what people may remember to be a split-up path somewhere. Right here. Time to split up! I'm Mambo. It's not true. Alright, take a nap. I'm gonna heal up. Like, I feel like I'm always lacking in health. Look at that. Then he does a sweet kick flip. The kick. Just pack around. It's pretty good. We're gonna go with Banjo first, because he's the one that's going to have the ability to go up this ladder. Kazooie can't climb, but we've established that already in Teratic Land. Then we get up and get lost a little bit. Then you go here, it's like, wow! It's a button with a light on it. And then the power up, its light is on now. Unbelievable. 
truly a world within world within worlds. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. Check it out, it's me, Bird, and I lost all my health. Uh, okay, so you're gonna go in the basement. The basement area that we like to call the basement. So you go here right now. It has its own loaded screen. It's pretty yeah. great. Destroy this man! And eat its honey. So here you gotta navigate this, you know, this little passageway with speedy little Kazooie. It's not that hard, I feel like, if you manage to make it to this part of the game. But it's not free either, honestly. Uh, Kazooie is a speedy little girl. Honestly, ugh, that doesn't really feel any better. So, we're gonna try and take our time. Look, this is walking Kazooie. I don't like it. Here's like, going slightly faster Kazooie. Yeah, and here's... But, but by the time I had ended the sentence, I wasn't moving anymore. Like, you could totally just cheese the place by getting here and just lighting your way with fire eggs. But that's what they want you to do! 38. Let's say that I then go and complete this place. 6. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 45? Assuming I get one... I think 45 is just enough, actually. But also, I have to assume that I'm gonna get at least one Jinjo-powered Jiggy. Maybe? I honestly, I cannot assume that. But okay, yeah. I think we're gonna be spending the next few days over at Witchy World. That's what makes sense to me. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here, and then I'm gonna end the video. It's a little awkward, but it, I feel like it kind of always is in this game sometimes. Where am I? I have no clue. But, doesn't matter, because the- I think I was at the train station? Doesn't matter, because here we can zap over here, and then we're up the rope again. Like, like, like I said, next time, uh, yeah. I don't know how long Witchy World is gonna take to, uh, completely finish. But I'm pretty sure we can. Like, we didn't even completely finish here, technically speaking, because, you know, I'm still missing, uh, a Jinjo. But, like, we're gonna get it from somewhere else, so... Uh, 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 you know, those sounds.